from Atlanta, Georgia, from the Fox 5 Studios, you're watching Good Day Atlanta. Good day, Atlanta. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Hayes. And I'm Suchita Vadamani. Yes, yeah, still much more to come on the show this morning. We're going to talk a little bit about defensive medicine and our house call, mm -hmm. which um, there was a, a really interesting study done, so stick around for that. Also, we have the uh, prettier side of NASCAR racing with us this morning. <laughs> Miss Sprint Cup is here with us, so we're looking forward to talking with her. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are, and I hope you mind your manners when you speak to her. What do you mean, mind my manners? Because it just I'm seems all, like my manners it does, are always Doesn't it being seem minded. like people have forgotten the art of of, you know, just etiquette and decorum and, and picking all that up type the wrong fork. Not even just so much about picking up the wrong fork, just interacting how with people. How about saying in the right thank way. you when someone holds the door for uh, you? Yes. Or how, how about, about some? That? Hey, wait a second. How about somebody holding the door for you in the first place? How about that? How huh? about that? Yes. But this is interesting. Too. Well, see, knowing which utensils are yours, which cup is your, which glass of iced tea or, or water is yours. Yeah, that's, I mean, those are important skills to learn for sure, but mm -hmm. we're going to get back to the basics. Ah. Beyond the table. Thank Just, you. you know, thank yes, you. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's one yes, of the sir. things actually no, sir. that I so appreciated moving yes, um, down here to Atlanta was to see how many young folks um, still use ma'am and sir. And mm -hmm. I like that because you know what? No, no, I, Jeff, no, you tell me if you, if no. you feel the same way. In the, nor in the north, you don't hear kids using that much. No. Never, no. actually. Well, no, but you, you still see well mannered. There are well mannered kids and there are kids that are not well mannered. Sure, definitely. You know, and that's the difference. I don't care where you are. Yeah, but I'm just saying the ma'am and sir thing, I never hear that in other parts of no, the country. No, I think that is a southern thing, yeah. It is. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. very nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's sweet. Not, not, I mean, I it's sweet, but we've got we've got some um, manners experts here that are going to give us some tips on how to make sure that your kids are respectful and responsible and well-mannered. Okay. Okay. It's I in there the somewhere? Yes. Oh, okay. Good manners are contagious. Let's hope so. Okay. Let's hope they're contagious. Yeah. Because I know some kids who might need to catch that. <laughs> yeah, we can we have a couple of courses like that. You know what I'm saying, Jeff? I mean, it thinks, that's some uh, of the things that these kids say nowadays, it just blows me away. Oh, it's awful. It's terrible. Yeah. You gotta have you gotta have respect for your elders. Mm -hmm. So by the way, what time does Spring Cup Girl come on? <laughs> that's coming up at 8:10. But first, don't you forget your manners. Road warrior <laughs> Stacy Elgin shows us the proper table etiquette that would make Emily Post proud. all know not to talk with our mouth full and to not slurp our soup, but what are some other table rules that we might be breaking without even realizing it? A group of girlfriends gathered for lunch with road warrior Stacey Elgin to put their manners to the test, and you might be surprised by what they learned. Over flowers and under the chandelier, eight girlfriends gather for a perfect lunch. Today we're at the Lusink's home and Kimberly Lusink has been gracious enough to have us in her home and we're going to have a nice meal. But we want to do this the right way because, you know, girlfriends get together all the time and it's kind of like, should I or shouldn't I be doing this? So this is where Kate Lewis comes in. She's an etiquette coach here to tell us what we should and shouldn't be doing at the table. Katie Lewis is an etiquette coach who works with corporations and individuals with their manners. Let's face it, no one is perfect and there is always room for improvement. So Kimberly, since you're the host, we'll have you sit at the head of the table. And then there will be a guest of honor. How about Stacy? you be the guest of honor today. Stacy now, will sit to the right. Did you know that it is correct to enter their chair from the right hand side? And if you must get up, exit from the right. Right is always right. First things first, pick up your napkin once you get situated in your seat. When you put the napkin in your lap, the fold will go towards your belly button. Katie says absolutely no cell phones on the table, but if you are awaiting an important call, have it on vibrate and just slip it under your leg and on your chair. One thing that often gets confused at the table, bread plates and water glasses. Here's a little trick. B-M-W. Yes. That is excellent. Karen taught me that. That is excellent. If your neighbor takes your bread plate, what are you supposed to do? Excuse me, that's mine? So you just sort of go with the flow and take the one on the right. A big no-no, using the salt and pepper before tasting. You are really supposed are. to taste first. Stacey, you're exactly right. Although you're supposed to it. taste first because if you don't, then it implies that the chef really doesn't know what they're doing. Finally, we're ready to start with our soup. Spoon away. Now, have you guys ever heard um, 
as the ships that sail to sea, I will spoon away from me. Mm -hmm. Yep, just spoon away. But if you spoon away from away from yourself, you sort of have the opportunity to make sure that everything is safe and secure on the spoon. When not using your knife, Katie says, don't put it on the table, rest it on your plate, blade in. The blade goes inside and the story goes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> Got it now. Be sure to watch your eating. Try to match the pace with others at the table, especially the hostess. Now everybody's got their plate. We'll go ahead and start. And the perfect, difficult lunch, spaghetti. You can twirl it on your fork. And real spaghetti purists do not like to use a spoon. So you, do, and this is actually the trickiest way to do it, but to just pull apart two or three strands and twirl it. The other thing you can do is just very um, gently cut with the side of your fork, just a small bite. For the most part, my girlfriends have their manners down, but salt and pepper passing took me a few times. Tracy, please pass the salt and pepper. Sure. Oh. Bonk. Like that? That way you're not touching where the salt and pepper come out? Here's the rule. Don't touch the top of the shakers. Place them down together on the table and never sprinkle on the way. That's rude. Did you learn something today? Yes. Just a little bit? Great. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you really, for having me. This yeah. is lots of fun. Thank you again, girls, for joining us today. Work has got to be done. Kate says never put on lipstick at the table, so when I excused myself, I had to remember where to place my napkin. In my chair if I'm not finished eating, to the left of my plate if I'm finished eating. Whew, thank goodness for Katie.